I'm Christy Surendranath. And I'm Yarly Rodriguez with your DT in 3. Looking for a way to get involved on campus? There are plenty of events this week to mark on your calendar. The Association for Intercultural Awareness is hosting a fashion show in the TSU tonight. AICA is a funding council that brings attention to CSUF's multicultural student population. Traditional cultural performances, an art showcase, and a fashion show called Culture Couture are all part of this event. It'll take place in the Pavilion C from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Need a place to fulfill that New Year's weight loss goal? The Student Rec Center is hosting its open house today to showcase all the programs and services that the facility offers. The SRC is equipped with a variety of workout machines and classes that are available to the CSUF campus community. The open house will be held at the Rec Center from 11 to 2 p.m. Cal State Fullerton's ban on skateboards is still in effect. The university issued this regulation in 2008 and it remains in place today. According to Lieutenant John Brocky, the ban has been effective. In 2010, nearly 500 warnings were issued. However, only 12 of them turned into citations. The European Studies Society is presenting an Eyewitness to War event Wednesday in the Pollock Library. Margaret Palmgren, an author and a resident of Anaheim, will speak about her experiences as a young girl living in Nazi Germany. The event starts at 4.30 and is open to the entire CSUF and local community. The series is free of charge. Put your table tennis skills to the test this Thursday at the CSU Underground. Titan Bowl and Billiards is hosting its first table tennis tournament of the semester. The tournament starts at 4 p.m., but you can sign up ahead of time by making a phone reservation or visit titanbowl.fullerton.edu for more information. Plans are still underway for transforming CSUF and the community surrounding it. The University and the City of Fullerton have worked together for more than four years planning College Town. This construction project would include a local trolley system, connecting key Fullerton destinations, and a redesign of Commonwealth to be pedestrian and bicycle friendly. These plans are also include a pedestrian mall that connects Netwood Avenue to the campus. College Town designs are still being discussed and are years away from being completed. Gas and tuition aren't the only things on the rise. Students can now expect to shell out a little more cash when updating their wardrobes. Clothing prices are expected to increase 10% in the coming months due to the surge in raw material costs. The price of cotton has doubled in the past year, hitting all-time highs, and synthetic fabrics have jumped roughly 50%. You can expect to see the biggest price increases in the later half of this year. That was your DTN3. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, Titans.